All right, welcome to Onshape. I'm here and I'm going to teach you how to start with block one. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new document and that document is going to be the place for all your CAD blocks. So I'm just going to call it uh, CAD blocks. And um, I know it's a document, but it's kind of like a folder. You'll have each of your parts that you're drawing today in there. All right, now when you open up uh, Onshape, there's all these tools at the top that we won't really quite need yet. Um, the two important tools that you really need to know are Sketch and Extrude. And when you're making things in, uh, on shape, these are kind of the two main tools that you'll be needing. So we're going to create a new sketch. And from here, we're going to pick our top plane because it wants to know where do you want to sketch. We're going to click on top plane. And now we can you can see the toolbars change once I'm in the sketch tool. So we'll grab our rectangle tool. And we're going to draw a just a box. It doesn't matter what size because we'll dimension that in a minute. So once you've drawn your box, you'll come over here and grab the dimension tool. And then now we'll actually put our three centimeter dimensions in there. So 3.0. And then I'm going to grab this one down here and do 3.0. And by doing, oh, by doing that, I'm actually um, defining the size of this rectangle. All right. So I'm done with that. I made it three by three. And that part of this step is done. So I click green check mark. I'm OK. Now my next step is extrude button. So I'm going to use extrude and it says what do you want to extrude? Click on the face. So I'm going to click on that part and then you can see it pulls it up. Now it's going to pull it up right now to a height of 2.5 centimeters and I actually want to make it pull up to a 1.5 centimeter because that's what it says to do in the drawing. So if I zoom in a little bit you can see my box is now 3 centimeters by 3 centimeters with a 1.5 centimeter height. So I am okay with that. So I'm going to click on the green check mark and say I'm done. All right, now the next part of it, we're going to kind of draw the angled part on the side of this shape. So I'm going to draw my line down, put it over here, some random height, and then go down. All right, now that I've drawn uh, those lines, I can hit the escape key and get out of my tool. And now I want to come in with the dimension tool and actually put the dimension that it really needs to be. And this is 1.0 centimeters. This right here has a height of 0.5 centimeters. We really don't know how high or long this is, but we do know that this side right here is 0.5. There you go. So now I've got uh, my lines drawn here on the side, and I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna click on the green check mark, click okay. And then now my last step is to use the extrude button. Now this time, instead of using the extrude to pull something out, we're actually going to switch that to use the remove part of the extrude tool. And now we can remove uh, that to give us our shape. Now there's several different ways you can re remove something. You can do it, um, if we do blind, you can actually type in your width that we need to do, which would be 3.0 centimeters. Um, that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is you can do up to next face. And so that would go um, up to the next corner that it would run into. So either way, we'd get you there. Now again, I'm okay with this, um, and I'm going to click on the green check mark, and um, there's our shape. You've got CAD Block 1 done. So your next step would be to right-click Part Studio 1, and we're going to give it a name of Block 1. All right. Now I do want you to see that this is a process of sketching and extruding, sketching and extruding. So if you do everything okay, these will be kind of nice and gray. Um, if you ever do anything wrong, it will show up as a red. And so that's your indication that something is not right. Okay, so now your next step is we're going to come down here, click on plus, and we're going to create um, a new part studio. And then this is where you'll start block two. So good luck with uh, the next block. If you need any help, please ask Mr. Swift and I'll be happy to help you out.